hello everyone welcome back to my channel today is part two of our new series inner childhood foods where i make some of our favorite treats from childhood today we are making the simpsons donut as in the simpsons movie so let's go ahead and get started First, we are going to start with our flour, which is all-purpose flour, and I'm going to add in my salt, my sugar, and my nutmeg. Go ahead and mix those in just a little bit with a fork, and then I'm going to take some warm milk and some melted butter, and we're going to pour in one egg and then one packet of yeast, or you can use the measurements I have listed below if you have the jar. Go ahead and mix that around until everything is all combined up and then we're going to pour this into our dry mixture i know this is a little bit different than how we usually um you know make yeast if you looked at my page you wait for everything to rise first which is how we're doing it today i started mixing it by hand and i realized i literally have it in my mixer bowl so i end up just putting it on the mixer which makes it a lot easier because this dough will be very wet um it's one of our very hydrated yeast um, dough so definitely suggest using a mixer if you have one after a few minutes your dough should look like this very sticky don't get scared because again this will be very very sticky and hydrated dough i'm just going to knead this with my hand for about five to ten minutes or just until it's um you know well combined on a floured surf floured surface of course <laughs> Once your dough is all combined, go ahead and put that in an oiled bowl. I like to use a glass or metal bowl and place it in the microwave somewhere it's very warm. After about an hour and a half, your dough should be doubled in size. Go ahead and pour that back onto a flour surface. And now we are gonna roll that out so we can get ready to make them into little donuts. Once my dough is all rolled out, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out little holes. You can use a cookie cutter. I'm using the top of a mason jar, I believe, because I couldn't find mine. Either will work. You can also use the top of a glass. It's no biggie. And go ahead and press down on that however size you want your donuts. This is the size that they will be. They will get a little bit bigger, of course, in the grease, but this will be around the size it would be. And you're just going to repeat that all over the dough as closest to the last donut as possible. We are going to reuse the dough that is outside of the donut circles, if that makes sense. And we're just going to roll it back up and make it into another dough. To get the little holes in the middle of your donuts, you're going to use a little icing tip and cut through that or anything that is very tiny in the shape of a little hole. And you can also add the donut holes into the dough that we're going to need again. And you can also use this to make donut holes if you are a fan of those. So I finished taking all my donuts out and I have this leftover dough that I'm just gonna give a quick knead. You don't wanna do it a, too much. And then I'm gonna roll it back out. This part may be a little bit harder and these donuts will be a little less pretty if you're being impatient, but it is no biggie. And I'm just gonna repeat that process over and over until I have no dough left. Or like I said, you can just make a bunch of donut holes. Go ahead and warm up some oil in a pot, very, very clean oil, and temperature check that. If you don't have a thermometer, just throw a little piece of the donut hole in, and if it rises to the top, then you are ready to go. Anywhere between 275 and 320 is where I have my oil at, and as you can see, it's just bubbling to the top, which means that this grease is nice and hot, so I'm able to put in my donuts and it doesn't float to the bottom. Once you see it browning at the top, you can go ahead and flip it over. You should be able to see the browning from the top, kind of like how you make a pancake. And I just cook them on both sides for about five minutes and give that a flip when you see it is very brown. And just repeat this process until you have all your donuts cooked. 
And as you can see, I'm putting this over into a rack and let that oil fall down into the pot, the pan under it. And once you have all those done, we are just gonna work on our strawberry icing. So you're gonna pour a little bit of water in a pot and double boil this. So you're gonna put a bowl over the pot of water. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. And we're gonna pour in our chocolate and a little bit of oil and let that melt down. If you are using this method for the first time, I would suggest putting it on an oven mitt just so you don't accidentally touch the bowl because it might become very, very hot. So go ahead and mix that in until the chocolate is all melted down. And from what I've seen, the icing on The Simpsons is strawberry. So I'm gonna go ahead and flavor my chocolate with strawberries. You don't have to do this if you wanna just dye it pink. You also can just buy the strawberry coloring from like Michaels if that's what you wanna do, but I had to make it from scratch. So I'm using my strawberry flavoring. You can use any strawberry flavoring. And I'm gonna use some pink chocolate dye I kind of used way more than I wanted to, but it's okay. If you use too much or you don't like the chocolate dye flavor, just go ahead and use um, a little bit more chocolate to even it out. And if you're using chocolate, you want to be specific when using chocolate coloring so that you don't uh, mess up your chocolate using a water base. So even though I use too much, I do really like this pink, so I'm going to go with that. And so once it looks like this consistency, you can go ahead and dip your donuts in them. Put some sprinkles on them. I was very specific about the color sprinkles because I've seen on Simpsons that he has specific colors. So I picked them from each thing on my sprinkles and put them on the donuts and they tasted amazing. Let me know how your donuts came out and which inner childhood food you want to try next.